Okay, on to stage two. Um, so you definitely want to use a lot of Blizzard here, right? Um, my memory is going to be a little hazy. I did this, I think, like over a month ago, but uh, I'll remember as I see it. You, you, a lot of, a lot of Blizzard. It's not worth it to fight these guys. Um, magic is not cheap, but the only way to beat this game is to use a lot of magic. So. Uh, there is screen flashing even when you play the game it's not as severe as it is in this video like it doesn't go black as long but the game definitely does flash to black sometimes so it's super annoying but you basically just want to freeze your way all the way through that screen here i like to use it again because these bats are too high up to really shoot and they can be super annoying so freeze 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 you're going to have to freeze here so that you can get through the lava waterfall. Uh, you'll notice things like that happen. You think you should be able to walk underneath the pumpkin by, but you cannot. So again, just freeze your way through. And at this point, you think, you know, maybe it's not so bad, right? You know, this freeze spell is pretty powerful. The game's kind of nice. Um, you don't need to freeze here. This was a mistake. But uh, you do need to watch out for that pumpkin. If you go too quick, he'll knock you back, sometimes even off the screen. Uh, so you can go down. The trick here is you definitely want to take your time. These eyeballs drop tears that cry. I, I can't remember exactly four or five at a time or something. Um, but you, you always go slow. Always be careful. Again, the knockback effect is so severe. Uh, so here, you know, you try to manipulate the little pumpkin guys so that they fall down the holes and go away. I always wait for the tears. Make sure he's not crying anymore because sometimes I jump down too fast and get hit. And, and here sometimes the knockback effect can knock you. Like you'll get a bad one and you'll just drop down all these holes. Again, you can use freeze here like I do. Um, it makes that part easier. Shooting out just the top of these blocks will kind of keep this little ball that can come from behind you from reaching in. Otherwise, fairly straightforward, more freeze to get through the waterfalls. Not a big deal. Um, here, you can if you can get underneath the stairs in time or kill them, you're safe. Uh, so this is going to be one of the rooms that, that really kind of starts to suck. Uh, again, I used freeze because these bats and their fireballs can get you. And then you're going to need to use a double shot here to kill this eyeball. And then um, I don't really have a lot of advice here <laughs> for this jump that you're about to do, but it is a head bonking jump, this right here. So your sprite can walk way off the ledge. Like as long as his back foot is touching the edge of this platform, he won't fall. And so you want to take that to your advantage. Like, like we'll see if I can pause it in time to show you exactly how far off the edge you have to be to make this jump. Eh, it's really tough to see, but you'll notice that my character's standing. We'll try one more time. Um, <laughs> I, I'm sorry, I can't get it. But anyways, you want your foot hanging off. You don't want to jump here. You want to jump from here. And you're going to need to freeze. I kind of like to wait here to give me my full amount of time. Uh, otherwise, you can get caught in the, the waterfall and you can fall and die. Sometimes you can save yourself, but again, it's better to take it slow. Slow and steady wins the race here. Uh, this is a life power-up. It's definitely worth getting. Uh, here, freeze is really helpful, and also the double twin shot, because there's going to be these fire dragons, and you can freeze to stop the bats. The fire dragons are unaffected, but the twin shot will uh, will light these fire dragons up. So Just kind of wait for them to jump to you again. Huge ordeal. We're going to keep freezing to keep these bats in their triple shots. Otherwise, they'll get hit with the knockback and light the dragons up. Run away if you need to. You can see there. Um, 
Again, it's better to run away from the enemies than it is to get hit. You can see how annoying the bats can be without freeze magic. <laughs> and so it's a shame I had to run away from that dragon. Now imagine that and fire dragons coming at you. All right, so this is the boss. So there is a safety spot to stand. You can see right where I'm standing. I feel like I should be a little bit more forward, but right about here where I'm at, he won't be able to get you. There we go. You can see I'm right on top of this like eyeball nodule here, and these shots will miss you. You can just stand here and fire away. Easy enough. Easy. Easy boss. Uh, the other strat is to, uh, is to walk all the way up here and stand right in front of this little nodule. But uh, standing on this little egg spot here is the best way to do it. And that's it. That's stage two. Now, <laughs> now the game's going to get fun. This is, this is where you're going to really need the tutorial. So stage three.